Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. If you are new here, welcome. I am a 40 something year old mother of three. I work full time, my husband works full time, and we do have a side hustle that we do together. This channel is all about budgeting, saving, paying off debt, all sorts of things with money. It's real life, real tears, and real frustrations. Um, just something I kind of want to talk about. Um, really frustrating something that you know the whole real life real tears real frustration something happened to us this week that actually literally a few hours ago um my husband had a job and he wasn't happy with it um i mean he was he liked what he was doing but um it was just not going anywhere for him and his boss had said oh yeah you're gonna get raises and all this stuff after you know so much time and here we are two years later almost three years later and he's had like one raise in that time period and it's ridiculous so um he started looking elsewhere and he found a job um not really doing what he wants to do but it's something you know when you're paid money that's more than what you're getting you're going to do things that you are really comfortable with and don't really enjoy and so um this job was going to get was going to start out three and a half dollars more than what he's getting now and then with the possibility of going up even further and even into management um so he gave his boss his notice and he still had a week of vacation coming to him and the boss gave him the option of just taking this week off or working this week and getting paid out for it and my husband decided to take the week off because we had some things we needed to get done um, my dad needed help at his house and um, it just worked out better, so he took the week off um, for vacation because Monday he was supposed to be starting. Um, this morning he gets a call from, or a text, text message from this new employer saying, oh hey, some things have come up and I'm not actually going to hire until October. So now my husband has already given his notice to his old job. He's wasted his whole week of um, vacation and so now we're kind of in um i don't know like how to say how to explain how i feel like i was upset i was frustrated overwhelmed very very upset at the new employer because it was so unbelievably not okay to tell somebody yep you're hired start this date go ahead and give your notice and then four days prior to pull out the rug but anyways we're gonna get it to make it work um, he's applied at a local place here in town that pays even more um, it was a place that we had talked about before but he wasn't really interested in working there but you know sometimes um, the best situations come out of the worst situations and so I'm trying to be positive I'm trying to be hopeful try not to cry um, I have not cried yet but um, Anyways, so today um, I'm gonna do um, my budget with me. So um, we're gonna go over last week's. He did get paid. Um, this is after taxes all, after all the things. And I got paid, um, he got paid from the VA because he is a disabled veteran. And then our side hustle. So this is all 29.51. I'm gonna double check math because I just never know. Two nine five one. Yep. All right, and then our mortgage should come out. My car payment for my SUV came out. Bark box came out. Bank credit card came out. And that should end up with fifteen thirty three. But we'll just make sure. Fifteen thirty three. Okay, so twenty nine fifty one minus fifteen thirty three is fourteen eighteen, just as we had put down before. And then we did do all these. These are our spending. This is just basically our cash envelopes. Those always are three forty five, ten seventy three. And then these were all correct. We did not do any of these. These were 180 because these were all what we did before, as always. So, 893 left over. 
We did not put anything towards extra debt. So we rolled over that entire 893 with a zero base budget. So moving on to this week. So um, he is going to get paid his regular, his or our side hustle, and then the 893 from this past week. So I'm going to total all that together just to make sure, which is 1795. And then this week is one of those light weeks of bills. So um, I had mentioned that before that every now and then we, or about every month, there's always a light month or a light week. I mean, so Edward Jones is we put an extra fifty dollars in a uh, Roth IRA. When is our internet? Um, slash phone. It was cheaper to go with a phone and internet combo versus just internet. So, and I have to have a high speed um, internet uh, with no, like very, I, I try to find the best one in the area for disruptions because um, if you hear the barking in the background, it's my dog. He's outside. He's very, very vocal. And it's because the male lady's next door. So, anyways, um, I have to have very good internet because I do work from home and. Um, you know, so that's what I do. So 131 is our bills this week. So 1795 minus 131 brings us to 1664. And these always add up to 345. 1319 is what's left. And I'm gonna go over these real quick. Um, these are our normal ones, but we're adding in this week, I am going to add in these other ones. We've got house maintenance, home renovation, warranty copay, medical copay, family fun, pool pass, sports, family photos, streaming, Amazon Prime, and fireworks. Streaming, I am going to just transfer the $15 from my account um, that I have my, my, my primary checking account to the account that I have the streaming count come out of. I have all those separate. Um, I do that for most subscriptions. So that's just what I do for that. But um, so this is not going to be included in my cash stuffing, but um, it's included in the sinking fund. So anyways, these are 295. So 13 mi 19 minus 295 is 1024. Oops. Goodness. I thought I had almost I thought I was going to get through this whole page without making a mistake. But here we are. So it is my life. So 1024, we're not going to do anything to extra debt this week. And then um, we're going to send this to roll over. You know, and I know um, the Dave Ramsey people will say right now the storm mode. Um, but I do have a pretty good savings um, account right now that I'm not too worried about. And I'm, I'm just not in the position right now to save all of our money because all this money is savings. So if we absolutely have to, we can dip into these things that we don't necessarily have to have like, um, you know, Christmas. I mean, you know, as much as I would like to give the girls a great Christmas, I can scale back. Um, same thing with like uh, car maintenance is four thousand. I have it as a thousand dollars, and I don't necessarily have to have a thousand dollars in there. Yes, I think it's important, but we can scale it back because our vehicles are new; they have warranties on them. Um, so you know. Anyways, this is a longer video than usual because of the chattiness, and I hope you don't mind. Um, but I did want to share with you that it, you know. Things aren't always perfect with everybody. Everybody has their own battles they have to deal with, and um, but we're gonna make it through. And um, your ongoing support really helps me. So um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It is free. I do upload three times a week, um, and then every month I do a couple of update videos for debt and for sinking fund updates. So um, you can hit that notification bell as well if you want to be notified when I do upload new content. 
and leave a comment if you like. And for my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your ongoing support. It means so much to me. And um, I love seeing my um, my channel grow. It's it's really taking off and I'm I'm getting close to the 100 uh, subscriber mark and I would love to be able to give a, do a giveaway soon. So that is that. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.